Hey guys, welcome back to Terraria, where today we're going to do some more things, or the final few things, before hard mode. So, first things first is, if we talk to Joe, Mo, I was close, I was only a letter out, Mo the Tavern Keep, we're going to buy a crystal, and I think we need a pedestal, and then we fight some things. I don't actually know what we fight, but we defend the crystal from something. We'll do that. Another thing that I wanted to do was I had an idea with the mine carts, the mine, the mine tracks, which I assume you can make, but without the, 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 the guide, that one, without that villager, I can't really tell how to make it, unless I look it up, which I could easily do, to be honest, but what I was thinking is, if I get some mine carts, no, mine tracks, and then I can put them down, basically on, along the overworld, and I can just sort of dig straight down into place that I need to be and I, th I think that'll be far easier than sort of running all the way over to here and then digging down and then I think it would just be a smart thing to do and then probably build some houses because I think there are a few more villages that you can only get in sort of biome exclusive ones like jungle for example or snow biome so we'll do that but first things first is the mo, mo, mo the tavern keep and actually before we do that I actually, I worked out how you open the goodie bags. You just sort of right click on them. Oh, what's this? Bit of harvest can be placed. J. Hayes. Okay. And we also got space creature stuff. And if you didn't already notice, I am a teenage mutant ninja turtle, which is very cool. I wonder what else I can get. A witch, some rotten eggs, Frankenstein's thing, more rotten eggs. What's that? Pumpkin stuff. And a princess hat. Right. I'm going to go and clean my infantry. That's another thing. Probably what, what I was thinking is if I just like make a load of chests just along here or equally Try and make I mean it doesn't exactly look bad per se But it just looks a bit boring. So if I maybe try and spruce this up a little bit, that would also be good But yeah, I'm gonna empty my inventory and then I'm gonna talk to Mo. Oh, we're here Right, so shop and we need a stand. That's what we need and a crystal very cheap do you know what I should have brought? Thinking about that ale, I should have brought um, like some uh, like I think I think we got some fries the other day, which are a medium improvement. But to be honest, with the stuff we've got, really don't think it's going to be that difficult. Oh wait, how do these work again? I forgot. Someone told me how these work, but hang on. So can I use them yet? I don't think I can use them yet. Cannot be used without Ethereum mana until the crystal has been defeated. So I can't use them. What's this? Can be used to store your items. Oh, do you know what? We don't need any of that. Let's just go for it. Crystal and stand. Uh, we need. To, I'm not going to place it here. I need somewhere flat, which I think is it. Yeah, there's a decent bit of flat land over here. I can't. Surely it's not going to be that enormous that it's like it just destroys the entire map. So I'm thinking right around here will be nice. Oh, that's a a lot bigger than I thought it would be. Right, here we go. Actually, you know what? Hang on, no. Let's drink some potions first. So we've got regen potion. We've got life force. That'll be handy. Archery, obsidian skin. I really don't have many potions. Oh, no, there's a thorns one. That'll be nice. Um, And that looks like all of them. Is that really all of them? It is, isn't it? Right, well, they're the three that's going to have to do. And then eight. Probably should have gone and gotten ale from Joe anyway, but... Oh, no, it's not Joe, is it? It's Mo. But this'll do, I hope. Here we go. And place. And, pl and, and, and place. Oh, place. There we go. So it's spawning in. An old one's army. Ethereum goblin is approaching. First wave. Where's it? Where are they at? Go away. Oh, sorry, bunny. Not, there's nothing here. Oh no, you, you you can hurt don't don't no, slime. So where where's where's goblins? Oh here's goblins. 30 health. I'm about to destroy these people. In fact, I could probably just use this and take most of them out in one. <laughs> this is it's not gonna be very difficult, is it? I was saying that, it's probably gonna be quite difficult defending on both sides. That is that is a thing. Oh could I just stand here and sort of see I can just stand here, can't I? I can literally just do this, and they can't touch it, because they're too weak and they just die in one shot. <laughs> this is very... Yeah, first wave is done. I am not... I'd, yeah. Easy. 
It's literally, just get yourself a Sun Fury and stand still. Holding, click. Uh, yeah, you've won. I wonder if they're all going to be this easy. Because, I mean, these only have 30 health. So, unless they... Because, I mean, I think I think 50 is like sort of a, an average hit. Or 48. Yeah, it, it seems like 50 is about an average hit. So, as long as... If, if none of them have over 50 health, then I'm going to win easily. I wonder what this next wave is. Wave complete. Well, not quite, because they're still spawning in. Oh, here we go. Um, wave 2. Ethereum Goblin and Ethereum Goblin Bomber. Okay, so we've still got goblins. So potentially still could just do this, depending on what these Ethereum Goblin Bombers are. Now, if they throw the bombs, that's a problem. If they have to get up close and personal... Might not be as much of... Oh, 50 health. They do have 50 health, so it could be a problem. Depends what happens when they die as well. If they explode when they die, that is also a problem. Oh, they throw bombs. Right, I see. Yes. So we do need... Oh, no. Oh, right, yeah, okay. Okay. Problems. Stop throwing bombs, you idiot! Oh my lord, I'm gonna die. The crystal's broke. Right, that's actually... Those bombers are a problem. I need a way to deal with them. They literally just annihilated me. Right, here we go. I think, ra yeah, round two is started. So I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna take a far more um, direct approach and instead of standing still, I'm gonna try and actually go to them rather than letting them come to me. Because I think that was the problem. I think I let it go too far, and then they just swarmed me, and then I got annihilated. So, as long as we can stay on top of things. Also got the Bast statue and that sharpening thing, which I don't think helps much, but I'm still going to use it. Ate my burger, so I've got a decent improvement to stats for six minutes. That's probably not long enough. I thought it was a bit longer, but evidently didn't read it properly. <laughs> that is so good. I like doing this. I like this sword. It really is good. But yeah, I think as long as we take it safe... And don't do anything stupid. We should be more or less okay. Oh, wait. It, say, it says, wait. Yeah, we've done it. We've, we've completed it. I just need to try and finish these as quickly as possible. Because I think that timer there basically starts the next wave. So if I don't kill these before the wave starts, I'm going to have more to deal with. But sorted. Right. So what's the next wave going to be? In fact, let's go over here. Oh, yeah. Also, I brought some bean aids and grenades. Just, just in case. Just in case things get a little hectic. So we've got Ethereum, Ethereum jab, de, Javelin throwers now. So they are obviously long range. So again, trying to do what I'm doing now is going to be important. Because I can't let them get too close. Otherwise, it's just going to it's just gonna mess things up for me. Yeah, B-nades are very helpful. They literally just took out like most of these people down here. Oh, wait, what's that? Wave complete and it's dropped something. Um, is that a medal? Oh, it's a medal. Nice. Oh, come on. Die, 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 die. Yeah. It's really annoying when they catch you in there like it's it's basically a crit chain that you just can't stop. Oh no, oh no, 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 no. Get away from that. Oh no, the next one's starting in for Oh no, it's okay, it's just these two. Right. That is quite difficult. And now we've got Ethereum Eth Wyverns. Just just what we needed. Just just great. Perfect. I love that. Oh, and there's one of them there. 60 health. Oh, no. Is that one of them? That oh, my God. They're, so, they're really fast. Yeah, that's a pro that's a problem. They're actually very fast. Beanades. Just spam. Beanades. Grenades. Oh, no. I'm just spamming everything I've got now. Yeah. Okay. That I'll, that's right. We're safer. We're safer now. Hopefully, that's... Oh, no. It's not. There's so many of them. Oh no, and the thing is that these Ethereum Wyverns, is they go underground. Oh my god, the next wave's starting in 23 seconds. That's not fun. There's a, that's, a, that's a good point. What's after this? I don't think I'm ready for this yet. Either that or I'm just not taking things properly. Right, well we did it. Dark Mage. Oh, no. Please, please restore your health fully. This is not going to... I'm not going to do this. I don't stand a chance. It's these stupid wyverns. They're the problem. 
they're just really quick and they they mean it basically means that I can't really go anywhere otherwise well they'll sort of just do all the damage before I've done anything to anyone else. Do you know what I should have also done? Is probably flatten out the land. Because that would... Oh no, see, in the dra javelin throws just stand really far away. So I have to go to them. And then that means that the other side is just left completely unguarded. Like, look, I can't... Because I can't go with this guy. Because otherwise, these ones will kill us. Oh, that is just ridiculous. Right. So what do I do? I mean, I got two Defender Medals, I suppose. That's a start. But I don't understand how I'm physically meant to beat that. There's just too many mobs. Right, as it turns out, I'm a bit of an idiot. Because I'm fairly sure you can actually use these before, um, before you beat the boss. So I've been sort of wasting my time. And what I'm going to do now is pretty much just try and farm for... Um... Yeah, look, I can put that there, and then it just sort of constantly zaps them, and it, it in fact, it does kill them. And I, that could have been a better placement as well, so I'm just going to sort of try and farm for, um, for what's it called? For, um, the medals, and then I will, oh yeah, that's another thing I should have done. I should have made that flat. I mean, I suppose I can quite easily just sort of run through, because hopefully they're all going to be killed by the lightning thing, so... I can just do that. Get through nice and easily. And then... Place that there. And then that should kill them. And I'm pretty sure, yeah, as long as I just keep getting mana. Which is... Oh, it's a soul cake. What's a soul cake? Right, okay. We've got a hundred. I don't know what that did. I don't know what's... I don't, I don't know what that did at all. Did that heal my crystal, perhaps? Possibly? I don't know. But yeah, anyway, we need some more mana now. Uh, which I'm just going to sort of go and farm from over this one, I think. And yeah, I'm just going to get Defender's Medals. Buy all the centuries. And then just sort of stack them up as much as I can. Oh, 12 Defender's Medals. That's very nice. I must say, this is significantly easier. Like, I haven't actually really swung my sword at all. Like, it, I didn't even know this, but these give you the Ethereum Mana. So there's another... I don't even know how much. Another 20. I can place another 2 now. And, yeah, I, I wish I sort of flattened this out, but, I mean, it doesn't really matter. But at this point, this is where I sort of do need to worry about the big, scary flying things, just in time there. But, yeah, this, this is pretty much all I need to worry about now, is the um, the wyverns. And I think there's another thing. It's a it's a something glider. But, yeah, that's they, these are the only real worries at this point. I was going to place another one of these, because, I mean, look, they don't even get past the second one. I feel a bit bad, but... At the same time, I don't. Oh yeah, actually, something I did realise is, I think this is only... Oh wait, hang on. Boss bar. Look at, hang on, the, the boss... Don't tell me the boss is going to die to the thing. Which, yeah, this it, it does remind me. Yeah, look, there's the boss over there, I think. There are actually three tiers to this. With I think this is tier one, and then you get tier two from beating a mechanical boss, which is hard. The boss is genuinely going to die. It's going to die to the lightning rods. Yeah, I... Um, I think I should go and at least look at him. There he is. 39. Are you ready for this? Are you re Oh, it's dead. I didn't even do anything. <laughs> well, uh, we've won. What's it about? A, a war table banner? Cool. Four of them. Do I get any more defenders medals? I don't think so, but that... Oh, yeah, I did. Look. Three. Yeah. As it turns out, that was ridiculously easy because I did more or less nothing through that entire fight. I literally just placed the lightning rods and, well, it did ev it did everything. Like, they were dying at the second one. So, let's have a look. Anything else? I don't, that doesn't unlock anything, but yeah, the me mechanical bosses, I think, are hard mode bosses. Unless I talk to him. No, hang on. Uh, crystal, that doesn't tell me anything. Happiness, yeah, it's, that's more or less it. I can't even buy anything else. Oh, no, I can. They all cost five. Um, what should we get this time? Let's get... I think we'll get a Flame Burst one. That sounds very cool as well. Don't actually think we'll do it anytime soon, to be quite honest. But next time we unlock the Tier 2. Because I think he actually gives you extra stuff for Tier 2. So when you kill a mechanical boss, you can come back and buy more... I don't think you can get them. I think he unlock, like starts to unlock armor and stuff, which... 
equally very useful because I think it gives you sort of buffs for the um the bosses and stuff. So yeah, that could have been that's taken me an hour. Could have taken me ten minutes if I just sort of read things properly. So yeah, as it turns out, reading is very helpful. Oh look, a thingy and to good moved over to the spawn. So I guess yeah, they're no longer over here. And now my only worry is this person is going to move into the house that I spent 40 minutes, well not 40 minutes, but a solid 25 minutes building and I kind of wanted someone new. Um, so we, we might have to make another one somewhere else. I mean we can make one next door, but I'm not, I'm not doing that much detail. This literally took me half an hour just to do this one house. I do think it looks pretty good though, I must admit. I have, uh, this, what, what's it called? Boral wood or something. Braille. It, it looks very good. That's what these walls are. And the doors. So yeah, I'm, I'll, I'll build one more. And then we'll go... Is that a jungle? It's not a jungle, is it? Another desert. Yeah, I guess we go over this way. I wonder what we can get in this biome. I never actually thought about that. We'll build a house over there and see what we can get. Right, whilst we're checking... Oh, hang on, I've ran past you. Whilst we're checking... I mean, this guy's a guide and this guy's the mechanic person, so... Honestly, these two, I mean, this guy's good to have, and I think this is going to be, like, the first place I set the rail track to so that I can get straight to him when I need to find things. But you are the most interesting one. Okay, so two goblins, oh, it's not going to be funny. Um, status? Hateful Ether is 5% crimson, you are so close. I don't know what that means, so I'll have to look that up, but what do you sell? Okay. I, again, I don't really know what, if this is any... Like, is this useful? A dirt rod magically moves dirt. Pumpkin seeds, flower walls, dryad coverings. I don't actually know if any of this is actually very useful at all. But you never know, something might be good about that. And then Colin. Colin is a crafting person, which is good. And for example, can I use. I can. Right, so. This, with obsidian water walking boots, which I've no idea how to get, will make lava waders. Which is good. What can I make with this, for example? Anything? Okay, molten a fire gauntlet. That sounds cool. Increases knockback. And the yeah, so this is, again, very good to have because we can do this, which we couldn't do before. So you are useful. Please stay alive. Don't die. And yeah, I think you're just the mechanic from before, aren't you? Yeah, which, I mean, I assume some of that will come in handy at some point. Anyone spawned in over here? Nope. Hopefully three people will spawn there, but someone else did did arrive, didn't they? Breathe a stylist. I don't know how you're there, because there shouldn't be an extra house. These two, I, I swear there was a travelling merchant. Evidently not, because I can't see anyone on the map. Oh, this guy's literally just spawned in. Some demolition person, I think it said. Let's go and have a look. So, I wonder what happens if... Yeah, I assume you're going to sell, like, bombs and dynamite? Yeah, dynamite, bombs, and grenades. So, to be fair, not too bad, because I think grenades could be quite useful. Like, I have a feeling grenades you can make something really useful with. Hopefully you can make B grenades. That would be really good, because B nades are actually insane. Because you throw them, there's the initial explosion damage, and then loads of bees spawn. And bees are actually really powerful. Like, if they swarm you. I'm going to assume that people don't spawn in the um, the crimson place, because, I mean, I've had this house up literally two seconds. I've already got this guy who does clothes, and then this guy who's just spawned in. And I don't actually know what he does, but he's called Stefano. Kill that. And he, he's, pos he's possibly also now stuck, because I don't see how he could possibly get out of this place. Oh, he's a, he's a painter, isn't he? Right, so he's got paint, and paint brushes and scrapers, and wallpaper. That's actually pretty cool, I must admit. Yeah, wallpaper is actually... That is quite a cool thing. And what do you have? Um, I guess, considering I think he does clothes, he's going to, well, have clothes... Brody wasn't hard, wouldn't do it. Yeah, cool. Yeah, he's got, he's got clothes. Which, I mean, both new. Did anyone else spawn in? I swear someone else spawned in for some reason. Nah, it doesn't look like it. 
Yeah, but both new and honestly, it's been two and a half hours. So it's a, as much as it might be a shorter episode, I'm going to wrap it up. I'll probably make some improvements and build some more houses off camera and do the track off camera as well. Because that's going to be a very tedious thing. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time.